life in a world of lookism is intrinsically unfair. Every mature adult knows that equality is a lie. Most people are not treated fairly. Most people are average. They are insecure about their looks, their finances, and their future. That's the way of this world yeah I think it's safe to say it's like our world now our hero Hyung Suk Park or those of you who have read the webtoons may remember him as Daniel Park a less an overweight and ugly loser who gets bullied 100 times. When he is in the washroom locker room of the school class, you name it poor guy, if the school is a hierarchy, he cannot catch a break, then he holds a sad pitiful position at the very bottom, where death precedes life. For the better, until one day he wakes up in another man's body and is finally able to make a fresh start, both literally and figuratively. Now he is the victim of inhuman bullying in the days leading up to that eureka moment. He knew it was already too late for him at this school so if he wanted to do something about the situation, for words could switch schools, unfortunately his single mother was already he is working too hard for them, to say life is hard would be an understatement but Hyung Suk's desperation seeps out of his body as he seriously proceeds to punch a hole through his wall, if he has to. Such a ruthless punch, she should have tried using it on bullies anyway, when the school has a sporting event and her mom tries to spot the biggest bullies in the school. I don't think any mother would sit idly by if her son was being humiliated right in front of her and so she acts up and stands up right in front of the bullies and tells them that this will hurt the youth. Things get awkward for Suk and he ends up doing one thing he shouldn't have done at that moment is to tell his mother that he reprimanded the only human being at the scene who was his ally, luckily mother and son soon recover when he the news breaks that he is going to a prominent school in Seoul. She will not be with him as she cannot quit her job so she tells him to take care of himself as she will now be living alone and thus in her life a new chapter begins is he finally away from that endless bullying now he can make a fresh start he gives himself a small place in the boons which I think is a strange thing to say because no place in Seoul is really classified as boon but it is relatively so anyway. He later bumps into a cute girl who also apologizes. Unfortunately it might be the first time in his life that a girl spoke to him in a pleasant voice, he thinks maybe it's different in the big city and tries to show off his confidence, did he know that her boxer friend Lee Jinx Young was with him. He doesn't take kindly to her creepy attitude and proceeds to beat up her living life, that's right nothing has changed for Kyung Suk and even now he just keeps getting thrashed and the humiliated people seem to enjoy him being thrashed and even uploading some online the poor guy cries out in pain later as he reads the comments of those videos everyone is fooling him you shows that cyberbullying is very real indeed. This day he didn't go to sleep but he just passed out when I woke up in another man's body, I don't know you his new body is really radiating, on steroids yes, the ABS is impeccable it was perfect, of course it takes him maybe a minute longer to process it all for the last minute details. Because with his real body still asleep on the ground, he even thinks about calling 911. That he reports this fiasco but then sees all those hate comments on the internet heck yeah let's see if anyone has the balls to bully him now that he is the guy who conveniently got him to his new school yet had to go in which means it's time to start my life talking about my new school it's J1, vocational high is a much more elite school than I've seen, so he shows up in his new body and immediately enters everyone's radar. The ladies can't contain themselves. They're obviously drooling that how could they not this man now has infinite risks he is going to take surprisingly his seat is not next to the window no there was already someone sitting on that seat and he is a boxer the boy who beat her the other day, ironically both are wary of each other, she is still scared because she has already been kicked by that man. While the other boy is frustrated because his female friend at the time also can't help herself seeing Hyung Suk naturally the most. Popular girl in their class i.e. Han Yul put on some awesome lipstick and approach her, it makes our boy wary because if there's anyone on the planet who the woman is not used to conversation so it is she but she surprisingly keeps herself from going crazy tell him about the reason why he decided to take fashion as his major. He keeps it cool and says it is because he is interested in fashion which is really a lie truth be told he didn't have the luxury of choice considering his grades the next day it goes into the evening co wakes him up he shows up at the local store. Maybe he works for his old body cause you know he's awake 24-7 in alternate bodies. 
When our boss catches a glimpse of our boy he is mesmerized as he will definitely turn. Up the female customers however he tells the guy who is working will be his friend as you might expect that the owner will be dismayed when he sees the actual young sook and politely tells him to go home, but once he reveals his extraordinary knowledge of cigarette brands, he is killed on the spot. When she is hired, things go in the wrong direction when students from her class show up together with Jin Xiong and try out. He tries to stop them but Jinseng punches him in the face with the boys humiliating him and then even takes a picture of him without pants which is not pleasant at all and adds insult to injury they laugh about it the next day at school, hurling all kinds of abuse at him and don't even spare his mother this young Resham can no longer keep himself unmoved by his verbal abuse. He tries to speak up but it only furthers Jinseng's anger and at that very moment the boxer challenges our hero to a fight, all Jinseong wants to destroy Young Suk so that his girlfriends will lose interest in the guy while Hyung Suk on the other hand has seen so many punches in his life that he always knows how they're coming. Unfortunately he never had the instinct to react in time but now he does how quickly it would appear there is no room to dodge he naturally blocks the punch it is insane. That he manages to overwhelm Jin Sung just by dodging and blocking, it's almost like he has ultra instinct at the end when he sees Jin Sung wide open he lands a punch, so strong the man falls to the ground the first few seconds practically blows up. It was crazy. The news flies fast and suddenly everyone in the whole school learns about Hyung Suk leader. The burning copycat gang named Bosco also learns about Hyung Suk's existence. Turns out, he looks like an awesome dude, but one Hyung Suk's old body is being bullied and shows up with another guy named Jiho Bosco and totally intimidates those bullies, so he is a nice guy. He starts tearing up because he doesn't like it when weak. People are oppressed or bullied at school the next day when everyone is in the cafeteria and Hanuel is once again flirting with him all the boys from the Burning Fingers gang happen to enter the cafeteria but he doesn't know that Bosco has the wrong idea about him. Bosco then confronts and attempts to kill Hyung Suk using his infamous burning finger grip which completely raises the temperature of the entire room. His grip but it's Hyung Suk's new body he shakes it with just one hand and it looked like it was going to go down but then, BMJ, the second in command of the burning knuckle gang, intervenes and tells Bosco that he should leave now, it's not what he said, how he said it that makes all the difference. He basically said it. It's out of their safety that they should leave which just lights a fire in Hyung Suk's name as he becomes even more of a bully in everyone's eyes, the three friends were messing with him and Jiho the previous day tried to invite him over for drinks, Han Hyul also pretends Young Suk was coming and then Jin Sung shows up as well. They try to get to know Hyung Suk a little better and so ask something along the lines of where they live. He replies that he just stays with a friend but somehow causes a me understanding that leads them to conclude that he lives with a dangerous criminal anyway he knows Jing Song has some material for him, but when he points out that he and Mira look like a couple. Even when the three friends talk about the video they recorded. Hyung Suk's second body fighting with Ji Ho drives our hero crazy. He grabs the phone and grips it so hard that it completely shatters. Is destroyed. However after it passes out, meaning he wakes up in his other body, he runs all the way to pick himself up. When asked who he is, he says that he is Young Suk's friend, the others are nice to him, now Jing Song shows him how to throw a punch before they part ways so he doesn't get himself beaten up again. He tries it out with his old friend before going home. As well as the body, it obviously touches the punching machine and doesn't feel quite right, However after Bosco leaves he notices that the part of the bag that was grazed is now torn, this only piques Bosco's interest. The next morning when Hyung Suk tries to start a friendship with Jiho, his mother comes to his house. She doesn't like the fact that her son is sleeping when he should be at school when he finally returns to his new body. He introduces herself as her son's friend. She seems concerned about her child and asks him if they can talk enough, he takes her to a Starbucks where they meet other customers. Starts to show up a lot. Apparently Burn Knuckles second in command works there but he quickly turns around now his mom is appalled by the unholy prices so they just get some coffee and sit down to talk he school I ask about her son's condition whether he is still being bullied or the tone of her voice could clearly indicate that she was genuinely concerned. 
couldn't do anything to help when he was bullied earlier, all of this of course is depressing for our boy as he's literally the woman's son in another body so he tries his best to reassure her that in fact there is nothing to worry about. Young Sook is already making new friends. By chance Bosco overhears this conversation. He still sees handsome Hyung Silk as an enemy so he concludes that this man is actually every day is bullying the other boy and just lying to his mother then before they part ways she mentions how she got herself a second job and after leaving Bosco gives her some money for her son Bosco lands a punch so strong that it makes a dent in the metal. Our hero knows that a punch this strong may very well kill him leaving him no choice but to fight back and once again his superior athletic ability new body in all its radiant glory shines when he incredibly takes out the legendary Boskal with a spinning elbow. The latter also inspires him to train because of course he has that dog, that's how he's able to tear apart that punching bag. And so it doesn't take long for him to start with push-ups, but an absolutely gorgeous woman notices him exercising and decides to have him a protein drink, honestly, a healthy woman who's giving the world making a better place. J. Joel is the enigmatic person no one ever sees the point not only does he look 10 out of 10 but he is also filthy rich which can be seen from his ridiculously expensive jewelry and attire but when people try to compare J. Yeol's outfit to any other hot shot a.k.a.r main character it is very easy to notice his clothes are cheap and worn. All the women are so blinded by his face and physique that they can't pay attention to the cheap clothes anyway, another student named Del Kwa was getting into trouble with a dangerous dude named Hobin Hyung Suk and saves him for the time being. But Del Kwa doesn't appreciate his superficial generosity at all, or at least doesn't yet, before the school day ends, Hyung Suk picks up a call from his mother, during which he remembers his birthday, which is tomorrow, Jaol was still in the class. He overhears all this. Now remembering the pretty lady who bought old Hyung Silk a protein drink well, she shows up and encourages him again at school. Hyung Suk with Ji Ho and Del Kwa in the cafeteria. But they are candid about how he distrusts people like him who tries to be too nice anyway, so the boys who notice that Young Suk wears cheap clothes and also have burning fingers come together to try to jump Young Suk when he is on his way back to school but instead of jumping they are greeted silently by J. Yeol necessary material as a gift for those who are going to bounce him well, Jeol is already taking care of them, though he still didn't have enough and is waiting patiently for Young Suk to show up. So they could call him out on his cheap clothes. Whenever it's meant to be. But of course the next time they see Hyung Suk he's completely slayed from head to toe and the girls can't stop talking about it, after that we see that Dev Aptitude and Hobin are taking an audition. Unfortunately Del K is asked to go home. He is not even given the luxury of performing before he can even share his voice because of his presence, but he knows it hurts. He then sees a poster for Jay. One High's talent show and decides to participate after another round of hardcore bullying later that day when he overhears his grandmother telling him to noodle stall found in Hoban and other people also show that her grandma thinks they are her friends and give them food for free and they just eat everything it was a big blow to her grandma's business but she still also make them sad for later Jia packs away for semi. Because these heartless people throw those bags in. The trash people can be cruel sometimes and it didn't happen all those false rumors when Hoban learns that De Agua is actually considering competing against him. He publicly reprimands and humiliates him in the cafeteria. But guess what, Hyung Suk J. Yeol and even Bosco all walk in and appear in front. The next day, Hyung Suk welcomes Del Kuo outside the school and submits his application for the contest, which is cut in half but he already taped it so everything is good, although Diego does not. He does not believe that he thinks that the only reason why Hyung Suk is nice to him is to try to play the Gary Stu character, he also says that he strives to be like Eminem who is a sad and humble person. Why all this pain and suffering has come from the beginning will make her songs even better unfortunately when Hoban later sees her writing songs for the contest he beats her up and seriously separates them. With a really satisfying voice he runs all the way to the source of the voice and finds Hyung Suk just singing his melody. This was all Aqua heard enough of that he now wanted Hyung Suk to be his partner in the competition Hyung Suk then later meets Del Quad at his place. 
The boy panics wondering if Young Sook might look down on him because of his bad location but since Young Sook doesn't have any differences it takes them long to become good friends. They start working on their game and Diakwa says something that really strikes a chord with Young Sook, he says that they are surprised by Hyung Sook's singing and his rapping. When Hyung Silk is on his way back, he meets Niakwa's grandmother who asks him if he would like to eat something but he politely declines not because he was hungry but because he didn't want to harm her business. Wanted meanwhile Hoban was also planning his game a world-class songwriter wrote the song for him he seems ready just like young Resham and Deva to make everyone attentive one night Hyung Sook worked at the convenience store still tries to practice singing, this time the pleasant lady overhears him and she rewards him with a kiss. I mean a throat loss it helps him practice harder and Aqua Hoban on the other hand is pleased with his progress he doesn't like what he is seeing so he pulls Aqua and Jiho into a back alley and just beats them up he later berates them for trying to compete with him and Jiho all sit together in solemn silence but when Diakwa and Jiho mention how Hyung Suk joined the school so things seem to be getting better. Bosco overhears them and is surprised because he thought of him as an enemy. Was. Bosco immediately asks if what he said is true and they confirm. The day leading up to the festival, Hyung Tsuk and Daikawa tie the knot at their rehearsal. They are ready. Finally the promised day comes. Remember the girl who used to eat our boy's protein shakes and is buying throat pills. She shows up with a guy in a supercar. Gun Gun seems to be working as her bodyguard. Hyung Suk notices her from a distance that she completely forgets that she is in his other body and decides to say hello, she doesn't like him as she can see he is some random playboy and he makes things weird. Gun then grabs Yang Suk's arm with immense power. But he manages to move it, although the gun was no ordinary cookie, then he hits a kick so unusual that even Kyung Suk and his new body easily fall to their knees. Moscow shows it as a friend. Hyung Suk's only Bosco isn't able to bear the weight of it, the killer look in his eyes is stunned, then he tells Gun to take off his glasses because he doesn't fight idiots, it's not just a joke, it's just a personal there is a rule where he finds people don't have glasses then when the gun takes them out of his eyes it turns out he is black who is he this could have been ugly but the nice lady tells the gun to stop as they follow it Bosco offers some milk as a token of their new friendship. But because the competition that had already started. You have to go once there, Jiol gives them nice clothes, while Hoban and his the band give their performance, they are stupidly good, but as soon as Helben and his band return backstage, he punches Del Kwan for no reason. Gut Yung Suk wants to get back at him but Aqua reassures him. Okay so the two appear on stage remarks are made about the difference in appearance of the two stars but Dan Quad doesn't care he just picks up the mic and rolls with it, even though Hyung Suk got stage fright at the moment the world accused him of his obnoxious parenting, he really impressed everyone through his song, it seems that Bosco is about to burst into tears. But they all applaud and meet Vibe. Who was on the back of director Hoban, who was also impressed. He goes to both of them, but unfortunately Hyung Suk is the only one who seems to be interested in Hyung Suk himself, though he doesn't care. Especially since his friend is later revealed to be Du Quan Jiho and the older Hyung Suk was not considered. They watch the video of the song to find comfort in each other's domestic energy in the dark and while Daigua is not to be believed he is pleased with himself and his performance and it is too beautiful for the story to be adapted 